Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Battalion Wars. In the last part, we started this whole thing off, and we did the first mission, and now we're gonna go ahead and do the second one. After the Russians have invaded America, what can we do? Oh, also, uh, one funny little thing is that uh, if you look really, really closely, close, wait, closely uh, during the cutscenes, like if it gives you a close-up of the soldiers, look at their weapons. Um, the Western Frontier rifle grunts, they have M4s or M16s, whichever you prefer. And um, the Tundran Territory grunts, they have AK-47s, although they changed the names a little bit. But anyway, I think that's really cool and funny. Anyway, let's do this. Bravo Company has been encircled by Tundra in advance. Fight your way back through hostile territory, liberate any captive frontier forces you encounter, and put a dent in the enemy battle lines on your way out. Let's do this. Sounds like fun. Um, honestly, I like this game more than Pikmin. And I know that sounds... That might sound a little bit weird to people who have never played this game and have played Pikmin. It's like, oh, Pikmin's like the best strategy game on Nintendo. General Herman here, Commander. Do you copy? Yeah, I copy. How could I not? You're in the game and I'm watching it. Here's the bad news. Tsar Gorgi's launched an all-out attack. See, there's his AK. You can see it right there. Which means our position is now behind enemy lines. But here's the good news. You're going to join forces with the boys from Bravo Company. We'll see if we can't get us a piece of the action. Bravo Company's been airdropped just north of your position. Head for the Gold Star, Commander. No, I... Now, let's see. Is he going to talk? Yep. Say hello to your new battalion, Commander. Press the X button to get these boys to follow you. All right, come on. Are you going to talk more? No. Okay. I really, really love the stereotype for Herman. He's like a Patton. Uh, and I, I just love that stereotype for him. I love the gruff military stereotype for Herman. It's that pesky no. spy again. Take him out before he can report back to Thunder and High Command. Nailed him. And it looks like he left a medipack behind. You can grab these for yourself, otherwise your grunts will pick them up as necessary. And that is how you replenish the health of your... Oh. You may have eliminated my spy, General, but his comrades are thirsty for revenge. Well, it's a good thing they're not thirsty for revenge, otherwise we might have been in trouble. Although they're just thirsty for revenge. But anyway, um, as you kill enemy soldiers, they all drop uh, meta meta packs, and you just walk over Remember, them and you pick them up. Dang! How do you jump up that high? Nice shooting, son. But let's keep moving. There's gonna be plenty more where they came from. All right. So, um, now let's see. When you're fighting someone, you can strafe by holding L and just locking on in that, and then you can press B to do the combat rolls. Generally, when you're just running, they will always be able to hit you with their bullets. But if you do your combat roll, looks like a small enemy camp. Press the plus control pad to enter global mode and get a better view of the battle. Okay. When you do your comp, Darn it, the enemy's in you know what? Screw Commander. you. When you when you are back. um doing a combat roll, uh you generally will break their bullets. Like you'll be able to break out of their fire, and you will actually be able to dodge the bullets and stuff. So you won't take as much damage. Um, if if the grunt that you are if the unit you our controlling gets taken down, it's not a game over, because look, you can just lock onto another unit, press Z, and you can just switch. So if you die, uh, you will just transfer into the next um, unit of its type. So, yeah. Oh, and also, right there, right there in the corner, Z is M16. I love that. I love how they have M16. So we really are American stereotypes. So anyway, in here, now he's probably going to start talking again. Let's see. Oh, uh, okay. Well, yep. Even when the enemy's in cover, they're vulnerable when you attack from the side or from behind. Um. What are you waiting for, Commander? Move out to the next gold star. Go! go shut up. Go. I mean, whatever. Not, not really shut up, because you are awesome. But uh, when an enemy is behind uh, sandbags, just like those, uh, when they're behind sandbags, if you try to shoot from the front, 
like if I'm behind this and someone tries to shoot from over there, I will actually take less damage. You do need to maneuver around behind sandbags in order to do regular damage. Otherwise, you are going to be uh, taking a lot longer to do it. Approaching our position, cross the rope bridge and destroy them. See the zero one marker? That means the MG nest up ahead is empty. Get over there and press the B button to jump in. All right. Just aim and fire. These MG nests are pretty darn powerful, so make good use of them. Yeah. Got the M60. Wait, I think that actually is an M60. The bridge is ours, Commander. Say again, the bridge is ours. All right, so this is how you can get in uh, little positions like this. You just jump by pressing B without uh, locking on or anything. That's how you jump. And then you just jump again, you jump right out. Uh, and also, the thing he was talking about before, by um, messing with the control pad, you can enter global mode, and you can look around. Um, this is... Uh, it's useful for when you're in vehicles, and you need to get a broader look at the battleground, but when I... Want to check old uh, radio messages? Press start, pause, then find the mission log using the L and R. Yeah, because I want to read these messages again when you force them on me. Anyway, uh, I never really use this mode very much except for when I'm in vehicles. And even then, I prefer to just be up in the action because I get a clearer view of what's going on. But if I have a really large battalion, then I'll go in that mode to keep track of everything. I only really... Those thundered bullets sting a little bit, huh? Use those fallen logs as cover, Commander. How about I'll just flush him out? That works. And there you go. There's an example of them take, taking less damage outside while they're behind cover. My guys barely put a dent in them when they were uh, shooting uh, from the other side of this. So you want to get behind it yourself. Well, your units are smart. Your units are smart. They will shoot at... Wait, where are they? Come on, what are you guys doing? There they are. Uh, your units are smart. They will follow you around, and they will shoot and engage the enemy very smartly. Uh, it is still very important to manage them and actually uh, take care of them and tell them what to do. Hang ten, Commander. I'm gonna call in some air support to soften them up a little. Yay, air support. An airstrike, General. Are you afraid to engage my troops on even terms? Bombing run. Nope. Sweet. I'm just a sucker <laughs> for a show of force. What is our freaking country? What did you expect? We're gonna fly in a light tank and some more rifle grunts to help you with the rest of your mission. Head for the next scope. Awesome! They're flying in a tank. Remember, you can use combat rolls to dodge enemy fire. All right. So. Now that's what I call a firefight. But we don't got time to stand around and enjoy the scene. Sorry, I kind of interrupted their talking. There's the teacup ah. carrying our tank. Let's roll out the welcome wagon, Commander. <laughs> Get it? Roll. It's be it's funny because tank treads. Anyway, um, sorry I kind of interrupted the talking because General Herman actually is really funny. Take control of the tank. What the? He's just standing the there. Then okay. All right. So now we can control a tank. Uh, the own really. My only honest gripe with this game is the fact that you can lock on to your other guys, which can be really irritating when you are in a huge firefight because you'll lock on to your own guys as opposed to the enemies, and that can actually be a big problem sometimes. But anyway, light tank. This is the first time we're actually going to be able to use a major vehicle because, you know, before uh, we got in that light recon, but all we did was just drive forward and we just initiated a cutscene. But this is the first time with a tank. Now, uh, if you remember tanks in uh, Mercy, this is it, Commander. Get over that bridge and destroy that supplies base. Um, if you remember tanks from Mercy, oh my God! The supplies base are clear and present danger to your infantry. Only your tank can take them down. Okay, I get it. Keep your infantry uh, on this side of the bridge. Press the X button to put them in sentry mode. Just everybody kill them, jeez. Okay, so. This is really the first time you're going to come across um, strategy right here, even though it is a very minor thing. All you do is you just leave your rifle grunts back here, and come on, get on over here. I want them to all be together. Okay, get on over there. Now, it's a very, it's a minor strategy thing, but it is still strategy. 
um, you just leave your grunts away from these towers and you take them with your tank. And there they have a little white recon. Uh, as I was saying, if you remember tanks from mercenaries, uh, these are much, much easier to work with. Much, much easier. Very easy to drive, very fun to use, just loads of fun. Okay, heavy recon. Oh, frick! Frick, 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 frick. Okay. Um. Okay, so, now comes the part where strategy comes into play. Ow, 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 get away, get away, get away. Um, ah, all right. This is the part where strategy really starts to happen. Okay. Your tank is in pretty bad Hang on. shape, Commander. If you want to patch her up, grab one of those blue jerry Ooh, That was close. Okay, so this is where you start getting strategery. More strategery, that is. Um, you just heard um, Sar Gorgi, you know, the guy with the white beard, the enemy, the Russian dude. Um, he was just talking about how he was going to have his bazooka veteran set in, or sent in. The enemies in this game have uh, strengths and weaknesses against each other that are going to be utilized to their full extent. Keep up the good work, son. We're close to winning this thing. Yeah, second fight, we're going to win the whole war. Um, units will be used against you very smartly, and you're going to need to do the exact same thing. For example, those bazooka vets, they will turn your tank... Outstanding! Oh. Don't you just love the smell of... Well, crap, I already... Morning? Finished it. <laughs> Can't. Enjoy your petty triumph, General. This battle has only strengthened my resolve to crush the frontier once and for all. Anyway, I'll go. I'll go into it. Uh, well, it's already over. You know what? I'll just do it next time because it's, we already done. I'll just explain it next time. They'll probably go into it as well. So yeah. Anyway, first time using a tank and we rape them. It's fun because destruction. Okay, so, uh, new unit, okay, I don't care, and the transport copter. Okay, so we have AA, uh, okay, anyway, sorry, <laughs> uh, I'm getting sloppy. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and end it off, and next time we will probably get into more strategy stuff. And don't worry, um, this first little campaign here, um, this is mostly just introducing you to everything, and then... Then we'll get into the tough stuff. Don't worry, it's not all this easy. Trust me, not all these videos are gonna be this short. So, just letting you know, just in case you're getting worried, it's not always gonna be this short, okay? Oh, hey, wait a minute, look at that. Okay, you see up there, that little, I'm just moving it uh, back and forth so that the little I, the little text box doesn't appear up there. Look up there, you see how the Western Frontier is green and we have some green up on the top of the, hundred territories is that the equivalent of Alaska up there let's see do we have any, oh we can't see any red there but <laughs> that's pretty funny they have Alaska in this game but anyway uh, I will see you guys next time so see ya